Hello chat, welcome to there. Today in this video I'm going to be telling you guys the fuck what I got to my first day. It's the first double digit day of 2019. I can't believe how fast January is going. It's just going by so fast. I had such a great night's sleep. I slept like a baby. I got ready for the day ahead and I had some podge and a cup of tea. Sorted out the kitchen and brought the dirty baskets of clothes down to be washed. And we're sorting stuff around the house, and then my dad was sorting stuff around the garden. I feel the tennis ball for my dog Haas, and my younger sister is up in uni. Old sister's at work, and older brother's at work. My dad was at work, but he got back, went off to bed, and was out and sorting stuff around the garden. I then went onto my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Lost a few followers on Twitter, but I'm not letting that get to me anymore. Then I treated pictures some pictures on Instagram, chat about some Facebook, listened to a bit of music, watched some. TV and I watched some episodes of Friends and Big Bang Theory, did some canon pages and then I watched the new Marvel's One Away episode of Accord and some other stuff of Accord I needed to watch and then I went for a massive walk and I tested up this bad boy, my new camera and it's amazing, I love it. I'll be posting some of these pages up onto my Instagram very soon at Dana Chatbox, go check that out. And uh, please give it some love. And then I got back and for my lunch I had a cheese and ham toasty and a cup of tea and watched today's Henry and Neighbours and some episodes of Dot Two on the W channel and watched Dot Two Angel State Manhattan, which is an epic episode. I love it so much, but the ending is always so heartbreaking. Then I was watching some episodes of Sabrina the Teenage Witch and some episodes of Charmed, the original seasons and I can't wait for the Charmed reboot to come back soon and I watched some Dollhouse Store videos and Dollhouse tutorial videos and the Dollhouse and Doll stuff of EB Amazon Swiss and I played with my main Peter Doll and my Dollhouse and Dollhouse and vlogged and edited my Doll Games Plus show and worked on some discussion stories for that. My older brother is back from work and my younger brother is on his xbox and his girlfriend stayed here for, for missus day she went off home and i hopped to the shops and i got back and i was watching ever after and watched nine went free and some other dvds and last night i watched love simon and that is just such an emotional roller coaster of my eyes angry happy sad all mixed them to one. I just absolutely love that film. I wish I could find my boo though. Still single, as I say, a single Pringle, but my mum says, and like all my mates say, you'll find yourself when the time's right. When is that time? I wish that time would hurry up. And yeah, I worked on some new songs, played on my killed a bit, did a bit of karaoke, I mean, who doesn't love a bit of a karaoke? Did some kind of pages and word searches and some puzzles, and played on Minecraft and played some cards and board games and some things and I did some new illustrations and watched some dull show drama short film little series that people have created on YouTube which I love, they're so adorable and watched some dull collection videos and dull handmaker videos which are so awesome and I then watched some old Robborn and Malik and Warren Sunny and other fun and stuff are part of videos that I just love to watch and some Wobborn stuff and I watched the Wobborn story from the start till now and they've come such a long way. I also watched the episodes of Far Brown and Vigo Dibley and Escape to Country and watched some episodes of Casualty and Hobby and Doctors and some other medical drama stuff and watched some episodes of some murder mystery stuff like Mids and Murders Murder Shrew and some episodes of CSI and Quid Minds and some other stuff like that and watched Dark Shabby episodes and Pride and Purchased the 1995 version not being fun of the K90 version and I can't remember what the medical drama's name is but it's a New Zealand medical drama Something Street, but I haven't watched it in ages, and I watched a few episodes of that last night, and I watched some old episodes of Glee, and Next Step, and some of the dance and singing dramas, and I watched the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and watched some other musical DVDs, 
I watched Mamma Mia, here we go again. The second one, I'm not so big on. I prefer the first one, but I just have to watch it a few more times, I guess, to warm up to it. And I also listen to it as the Sister Sisters, a bit of Kylie, a bit of Pat Disco, Pale Wave, Gold Trap, Garbage, and some other season bands. I just have such a distinct music taste. I just love lots of different types of music. I'm just such a big fan of music. And I dropped my mate back home yesterday evening when he came back from being at the bar and bowling. And we got him back to his house. And he lives in such a little quaint village. It's just so picturesque. And I just love it. So I've always said, if I ever make a TV soap or a short film, I feel like I want to film it based around that village. Because it's just such an attractive little village. And I did some doors and doors photography, had the white background and everything looking very professional. And I had a lot of fun with that, a lot of laughs. And posted some of that to my Instagram. Lost a few Instagram followers, but I'm not caring about losing followers on any social media platform anymore because it's not worth the stress. And I think my younger sister may be coming back for, from uni for a bit of a break because she's having a bit of a hard time at the moment because she has suffers from anxiety. So I think she's getting a bit stressed out from that. But hopefully she can get under control because she's doing really well and she's going to Rome soon as part of a art and design course that she's doing. So hopefully that's all. I think she think, I think she might be coming back but for a day or so just to refresh and just to calm herself down. But she saw talking to the, my mum on the phone at the moment and that's always comforting and calming talking to your mum because everyone needs their mums at times don't they and my dad went off back to work and popped in to see my grandma on the way back to go to work and I while on my walk went to shops and got myself a drink and then went and had a look around the charity shops nothing much in there today and then I got back and had my lunch and watched the Aussie soaps, like I said before, and then after that I was doing some colouring pages and I found one of my old design books where I put lots of illustrations and stuff that I thought I'd lost, so I was just looking down through that, going down trip down memory lane, and so that was really good, and then I played on Buzz with my siblings and played on the Wii, on Wii Bowling and some other game devices and played on my DS on Minecraft and played in Simple Surfer on Minecraft and played some other cards and board games and worked on some new illustrations and that's going really well and worked on my new chapter to my book so lots of twists and turns and I just love that love writing I read a bit to my mum and um, me and my mum watched a bit of Exeter the Warrior and some episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I went upstairs and had a bit of a rest and was sort of my dose and dose out and I watched some episodes of Merlin and some episodes of Riverdale and that comes back soon as well and I can't wait for that because it's been off air over the Christmas period same with Supernatural and those come back soon too I can't wait for my American change to come back after the festive season break and I then listened to a bit of Kind of no, it's kind of a go talk, which is probably one of my favourite Shago talks. One of my favourite talks of hers is the Shago talk, really. I love it so much. And the Golden Talk, which I went and saw, and I shall never forget that. It was just such a great day. And I listened to a bit of Shania Train, a little bit of country music, and watched a Hannah Montana movie and some other Disney films. And I had a little bit of a Disney marathon and watched 101 2 Dalmatians and watched Ever Enchanted and watched some other. Disney films and I watched Alan Enchanted and one of the Princess Diaries films and I'm just such a big fan of Anne Hathaway. I also watched the Lisa McGuire movie and I listened to a bit of Penny Dust music. She's actually done some really good songs and then I sorted out on the house tidying stuff up but it's simply what I am and made it through nothing spick and spam and then our family film popped over from being at work and I just had a nice chat with him. Wish him a happy new year because I hadn't seen him before that and we talked about each other's Christmas and stuff and yeah it was really nice to see him and asked about how his new puppy's going on because he's got a pup, him and his girlfriend have got a puppy together 
which is so adorable and then he went off and I went out of the end room and I had a cup of tea and got my journal out and started writing a bit of that and doing some new drawings and some painting and colouring in and I then was watching some movies on the movie channel just looking through and I found the front of the opera so I watched that for a bit loved the front of the opera it's just such a great musical one of my favourite musicals and my grandma and grandpa have said if it ever comes back to the Hippodrome they're, they're going to take me to see it which I'm super excited for and talk about musicals next Tuesday me and my dad are going to the Motown musical so I'm looking forward to that and I was just listening to a bit of Michael Bublé and a bit of Cardi Minogue and I'm now off to go finish off watching some episodes of Doctor Who that I've been trying to get watched and some episodes of Supernatural and Marlin and I am currently going to be watching lots of Doctor Who box sets until Doctor Who comes back next year because we've got a year without Doctor Who unfortunately and yeah I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video and all have had a lovely Thursday and have a lovely Friday tomorrow I shall see you soon with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye.